Hello and welcome to How to Design Puzzle Boxes Video 6. In this video we're going to talk about how this lid was designed, at least to start off with. So first we're going to look at it as a section view and then take a look at how it actuates. So you can just see the inside. You can see that there is a bit of a clearance on the inside com compared to the wall. And let's see how it actually works. So we'll do a perfectly side view there and we'll actuate this so you can see how that works. So essentially it just is going to spin on the pin and spin back. So very simple but uh, this is how it'll work. So now let's take a look at the lid itself and go over how it was designed. So the lid itself was actually designed by just measuring the outside dimensions of the box itself. So I just measured from the outsides here and the outsides here to make sure it's flush. The more difficult part was actually measuring from the center point here to the top of the lid and then from here to the back end. And that's how I made the components to locate this pin. So if you take a look here, what I did is I had to locate it from the top of the lid to the center and then from the center point here to the back of the lid. And then that's how I located it. I'm using the same dimensions as the actual hinge itself that was designed before of 0.8175 and then I was able to get that all put together. The next thing I did was I made a chamfer that was the same size as the hinge that we designed before. I did another extrusion that extended it to the height and then the last thing I did is I did another set of chamfers just on the corners just to give it a little bit more flare which I may or may not change down the road. But this essentially is how the lid is going to be designed to start off with. In the next video we'll most likely get into a component that's going to lock the, f the lid from the front and then also probably go into an actual pin that's going to be holding this all together. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, this is Tyler with 3D Printer Store, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.